more than you can afford, pal. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, this is a big one. Probably the biggest video that I've ever had to make on a car. And do I have a concrete plan on how to make this video? Hell no. <laughs> In the last video, I said that my Toyota Supra had been sold and we got to watch it get shipped off to its new owner up north. But I had also mentioned in that video that the car that was going to replace it was gonna be showing up very soon. And well, today, you guys get to find out what that car is. Still hasn't clicked with me that this just happened. I still don't know how to react to this, but this is truly a dream come true. I'm sitting in my new to me car right now, and it is something that I thought that was never going to be possible, but we did it and it is so sick. Last weekend, I flew out to California to film Formula Drift Long Beach, and before that, this car, literally the day before that I left, this car got dropped off, and I was actually able to film my first ever reaction to seeing this car, driving this car for a little bit, my first impressions, and I didn't initially want it to be the reveal of this car, but after watching the, uh, the footage, I thought that it was the perfect thing to actually reveal this car to you guys by showing you my first reactions and first impressions of it. So in a minute or so, I'm actually going to cut straight to that footage so that you guys can finally get to see the new car revealed and I hope that you enjoy. <laughs> Making a video like this has made me truly appreciative of the opportunity that I have and extremely thankful for the things that I do and the things that I'm able to be a part of in my life. Growing up though, things weren't always that great for me. Throughout basically my entire childhood, I was severely bullied in school on top of being diagnosed with severe cases of OCD and ADHD. And the best thing that I did for myself was go to therapy throughout the entire process. It gave me a chance to speak my mind and find resolution to the problems that I was dealing with. Therapy was truly life-changing for me in a very difficult time. And I can't imagine how much harder it would have been to handle the bullying without that dedicated time and space to be able to process what I was going through. If you guys are struggling with bullying, mental health, issues or any personal life challenges, I want to recommend BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video. BetterHelp makes starting therapy accessible and comfortable by matching you with a therapist for online sessions. You can connect via phone, video chat, or even text-based messaging. With over 30,000 therapists in BetterHelp's network, you're likely to find someone who's knowledgeable, understanding, and a great fit for you. And on top of that, you can switch therapists at any time if you need to. See why BetterHelp has been life-changing for over 4 million people struggling with life's challenges. You can go to betterhelp.com forward slash divine media or select divine at checkout for a special discount off your first month of therapy. Like I said, you guys, it was life changing for me in the beginning and I don't know what I would have done without it. And the video that I'm making today further makes me appreciate all of the things that I went through as a child and that made me the better person that I am today. Thank you, BetterHelp, so much for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Good morning, boys and girls. It is Wednesday, 7.30 in the morning. I just got a text from Dan uh, over with his car transport and he told me that he's gonna be here between 8.30 and nine o'clock with the new car. I, I really don't know how to feel right now. Um, a lot of mixed feelings, a lot of happiness, a lot of emotion and everything just kind of bombarding me all at once, I guess. I'm still like half awake, but my excitement is keeping me up. So we're a few minutes away from the compound now. I'm gonna come here, hang for a little bit, wait for him to show up. Try my best to not cry when I see the car for the first time. So we'll see, but it's gonna be a good day. I really didn't think that I was going to be 
buying a new car this year. My heart's beating at like a thousand beats per minute right now. Uh, he just texted me. He said he's gonna be here in about five minutes. Like I said, I really don't know how to feel. This is the wildest car that I have ever purchased. This is the wildest car that I've ever uh, thought about owning. I had no idea that I would be able to uh, have one at this point in my life, at this time in my life. It's just one of those things like, life is short, don't be reserved your whole life. Don't hang on to things that you're on the fence about hanging on to. If an opportunity pops up, take it. Have fun, do what you want. That's pretty much the reason why I bought this car. He's like two minutes away, my heart's racing right now. It took a while for this car to get transported down here. It got put onto one truck, but then that truck had problems, so it got transferred to a separate truck, and that truck is about to pull in right now. You guys, he has arrived with the new car. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try my best to not freak out, but I might freak out. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I see it. <laughs> it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real. Dude. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> Bro. What the f is going on? <laughs> I'm just speechless. Dude, yeah, I don't know how to act. I'm shaking right Wait now. Wait you drive it. That's when you're not gonna know how to act. <laughs> you're revving that thing up like a dickhead everywhere you go. Oh my God. Okay. It's been probably like 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes since the car got dropped off. I'm still just kind of taking all of this in, realizing what I just did. This is this is insane to me. I drove the car like 300 feet down to the end of the shop because I wanted to park it up next to the Century and I'm still just like lost for words. I know that this is just a snippet of the actual video or at least I think it is in my head. I haven't filmed the rest of the video yet because I want to do that after FD, but I wanted to film this and and pick the car up and film my initial reaction <laughs> when it showed up cuz I knew that this was gonna be some crazy shit. So, this is my uh, 2002 Ferrari 360 Medina, Modena, and she has officially landed in Florida. Now I fly out for FD Long Beach tomorrow to uh, capture that over the weekend, and then when I come back, I'll film the rest of this video, but I initially wanted to be here just for the arrival of the car, make sure that I can go over everything, and it's in really, really good shape. And this is actually a pretty tough example of a 360 to find um, a lot of them really weren't made in black and on top of that with a black interior as well so the car is absolutely filthy but the interior is actually really really nice on this even has some 360 floor mats those are definitely aftermarket but check it out the only blemish on the interior is the airbag uh, the leather just started to lift like the the glue got old but that's an easy enough fix. I already looked at videos on how to do that. So that'll be a future project. But let's hop in. God, this feels so weird. This car was in Florida for a little while and then it got purchased by the guy that I purchased the car from uh, up north 
And when I bought it, uh, I had my friends transport it to our shop in Westboro, Westboro, Massachusetts. They watched over it up there for a week and a half or so, uh, made sure that everything was fine while I set up transport and now it's here. And now I get to finally sit in it and uh, kind of feel like it's a real thing. This car is a paddle shift car. It's got the F1 gearbox. However, this car is very low miles for uh, for the price that I picked it up for. I like to think that I got a really good deal on this car. This car has 26,000 miles on it. And for the 300 feet that I drove it, it shifted perfect. It sounds good. There's no hiccups. There's no lights. There's nothing. Everything just feels normal feels good and that's a huge plus with these cars because they can be very finicky if uh, the previous owners didn't keep up with maintenance and things but the rest of the interior is freaking gorgeous the seats are in beautiful beautiful shape the carpet is perfect the actual dash itself is perfect there's no issues it is missing the uh, AC control on this so I'll have to find one if anyone knows probably not but figured I'd ask anyway. The buttons are actually in really good shape. They're not sticky. Uh, that's a huge uh, fail point with these cars is the buttons get kind of sticky over time. They are not sticky, which is very impressive. Got my little tiny shifter here for reverse. That's so funny. And then uh, in here is the front pop gas door. And what I imagine is a um, maybe an alarm system or a fail. Uh, some sort of mode to put the car in. I'm not sure what that button is. It doesn't look factory, but who knows? Maybe you guys can leave it down in the comments what you guys think that button is. What the fuck? I own a Ferrari. This happened 20 years earlier than I thought it was going to. Let me just say that. I, I did not expect to own a car like this at this time in my life. And it, it feels ridiculous. I still don't feel like this is real, even though it is. I'm like, I'm lost for words. There's a few things I want to do to this thing in this video, and the first thing is a wash because it is disgusting on the outside. When my friends picked it up, it was raining, so it's got a bunch of water spots and pollen all over it. It's very, very due for a nice, thorough car wash. So let's take it over to the wash bay, get this thing cleaned up, and then see what it actually looks like. And we can kind of assess the uh, the paint and stuff like that from there. So with these cars, they actually have a alarm system built into the car that uh, you have to press before you start the car. And you have a minute to start the car once you press it or else it will lock you out and basically just keep cranking, which is nice. Kind of weird, but kind of nice to have at the same time. So you guys hear that? She's good to start. Check okay. <laughs> no lights. Looks good to go. Let's take it over to the wash bay. Okay, just gave the car a nice thorough wash and uh, it looks 
awesome. This car is a 2002, so that would make it 22 years old. Um, and for the age, it's in amazing condition. The car has been resprayed. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's a really, really nice repaint. Did everything proper and it looks really, really good. I'll probably have uh, Jeff or Aiden come down here and give the car just a super quick polish. But it is in phenomenal condition and uh, I'm very, very happy to see that. If I turn the polarizer, you guys might be able to see some of the haziness or some of the buff marks in the paint. It's really hard to tell. Man, this thing is so cool. The back is my favorite on this car. Just the way that the glass is shaped and the fenders are shaped. It's just amazing. I think that's going to end this portion of this video, me seeing the car for the first time. I just wanted to film this before I left and then film the rest of the video when I get back. But this thing is insane and I, I just, I can't wait to drive it. I can't wait to start doing things to it. It's going to be the craziest thing I've ever done. I've hyped this video up enough. Here she is. This is my new to me 2002 Ferrari 360. I'm back from Formula Drift and this is the first thing that I had to do. <laughs> See it, drive it, film it, because it really is a dream come true. Now I don't wanna say some of you guys might have seen this coming, but I have alluded to it in a few videos in the past. Uh, when I did the POV drive with the Supra, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in a couple other videos as well. I've been fascinated and drawn to these cars for so long now. And even in the last few months of me building the Supra, I was starting to think like, okay, I'm getting closer. This might be the right time and the right opportunity to try and go for one of these cars. I love these cars so much and I put the Supra up for sale. And one of the first people to actually contact me about the car was Sonic 203 up in Connecticut. You guys have probably heard of Sonic before. He builds a lot of crazy fast Hondas. He's got some crazy giveaway cars. And well, he made me a good offer on the car and I really couldn't uh, pass it up. So he took the car, he purchased it. It's back up in Connecticut with him right now. And almost at the exact same time that I posted the car and was talking to Sonic, I found this car on Facebook Marketplace. Actually, I didn't find it. My friend Pierce up in Massachusetts found it. I started swiping through the photos. It had everything that I wanted besides the wheels and the gold badges. Not really a huge fan of those. But it was a 2002, which is nice because in 2002 they had a little bit of an upgrade in some engine components. A couple fail safes here and there. It's black which you guys have seen all of my other cars, they're all black. And not only is this black, but it's black interior as well, and it is in beautiful, beautiful condition. This car being a 2002 only has 26,000 miles on the odometer, which is about average for Ferrari ownership. It's funny, at the same time that I had posted the Supra for sale, I was talking to Vin from Hoonigan. He had just got his 360 and we were just kind of shooting the shit, talking back and forth. Kind of potentially wanted to trade his car for my Supra, but I was so dead set on trying to find a black one that I ended up just waiting. And eventually this thing popped up. Now I've been huge fans of these cars for years. I know my boy Randy from Eliminate got his red wide body one over in Japan. I know Vin has his silver one over in California. And now I have my black one in Florida. This thing's pretty crazy and kind of a trip to learn how to drive. I'm sure Vin understands where I'm coming from. The F1 gearbox is kind of finicky and you kind of got to get used to how it works. And as far as I know, the maintenance on this thing has been kept up very, very well. Now I will say this car looks perfect on camera. And most of that is because of the brand new paint job that this thing got last year. But the entire reason why this thing got a new paint job is for kind of a reason that I wasn't hoping for, but it's really not that big of a deal. The guy that I bought this car off of, he purchased the car end of 2022 and had it transported up to him. And within the first hour of him owning the car, he took it so that all of his buddies could go and see it. And while he was parked outside of a bar, two girls came by and just barely sideswiped the uh, back left quarter panel of the car. Didn't do any structural damage to anything. It basically just cracked the paint 
on the rear bumper. Not a huge deal whatsoever. There was no dents or anything from it. He ended up getting a good chunk of money out of it, so he said, screw it, let's paint the entire car. So he got Ferrari paint, Ferrari everything, redid the car the proper way, and that's why it looks so friggin' phenomenal on camera. So it's kind of a blessing that that happened. I'm not really sure what the paint looked like before, but this paint job is phenomenal. The car looks brand new, aside from little things like the headlights needing to be refreshed, which you guys can expect to see that in a future video with Griot's. But this car is such a perfect platform for me to start on. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I don't really have a structure or idea on how I wanted to film this, but I hope you guys are enjoying the video nonetheless. Here car, car here, car beautiful. God, look at the, just the body lines of this thing. You guys know I'm huge, 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 huge on car aesthetics. And this is why the 360 is one of my all time favorites. I like the F430s as well, but I'm not a huge fan of certain things on that car. But I love, love, love the symmetry of these cars and just how the rear ends look. It's got a couple outdated looks on it too, but overall this car is extremely modern looking for it being a 2002. But I just wanna give you guys a quick walk around once more of this thing. Like I said, paint is phenomenal. This entire car is a mirror. There's a couple areas that I could probably get wet sanded and buffed just to bring out a little bit more shine like inside of the uh, scoops on the side here. But overall this paint job is so, so good. It still really doesn't feel like this is a real thing and it's right in front of me. I'm just so excited to tear into it and start doing stuff. Drive it, enjoy it. This car feels very much like me. The Supra was an amazing car, but I'm not someone that needs to go fast all the time. And that is kind of the main reason why I kind of fell out of love with that car. I'll show you guys the interior one more time in the sun. Absolutely beautiful. The seats, especially the driver's seat for being that old, beautiful shape. Center console, really no scratches or nicks on it at all. Passenger seats, perfect. Door cards are perfect. Only blemish is the airbag, but that's not a big deal. The Ferrari on the side step. This is just, this is ridiculous. I can't believe I did this. With this car being an F1 gearbox, it basically means that it's a manual trans, but it has a module built into it to where it shifts itself and you just use paddles. So there is a clutch life for this thing, but it is actually at 82%, which means that it was done recently and I should have plenty of miles to be able to enjoy this thing before we have to do a clutch. Little bit of specs on the engine here. It's a 360, which means it's a 3.6 liter V8, high revving, revs to 8,500 RPM. And this car actually has a couple little goodies on it as well that I don't think I mentioned. Here we go. Ooh, man, that is, this is so cool. I, I don't know how to react. This is one of the goodies that I was talking about. This is a Lorini exhaust system. So it's not factory. However, it does look like it still has the factory uh, headers and cats, which we could swap out in the future to get a little bit of a louder note. But I think this thing sounds beautiful. This is actually a decently expensive exhaust kit. So I'm glad that it came with the car. I do really plan to remove these and put factory chrome ones back on. In terms of the rest of the car, it is pretty much stock aside from the wheels. Uh, these are going to be for sale very soon because I obviously have plans for this car. These are actually avant-garde wheels and they're 20s in the front and 21s in the back. So if any of you out there want some avant-garde, let me know. I will be keeping the center caps though. <laughs> in terms of plans for this car, I have an idea of a direction that I want to go like I usually do with most of my cars. So I, I have some things in the works. It's gonna be really, really cool. It's definitely gonna be one spicy, spicy build and it all starts here. Now I would take the car out on the road and drive it and give you guys my first impressions and let you hear it sing and everything, but the car is still not registered, so I do not want to take it out in the main roads yet. Once it is registered though, I will be doing POV videos, driving videos, first impression videos, all that stuff. So you guys can look forward to that. It does sound really, really good though. You guys heard it rev in the video a few times. This thing is just so cool. I'm probably gonna leave the video here, but I know that I was hyping this thing up online and on my socials so much that I was itching and itching to get back here just so that I could finish this video off. So I hope you guys are excited for the content and the videos that are gonna come with this thing, because I know I am. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. And I guess me and this thing will see you guys very soon. Have a good night.